care to play? Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill Remastered. So, this is the first in a very long series of games by Her Interactive based on the Nancy Drew books, which I have not read. But I have watched my sister play, when I was a lot younger, I watched my sister play a couple of these games. Like, she played Secrets Can Kill, and um, I think Danger by Design, um, Stay Tuned for Danger, Secret of the Old Clock, and Creature from Kapu Cove, if I remember all those titles correctly. I The only game I have played, though, is uh, The White Wolf of Icicle Creek. It'll, I plan to play all the games, but it'll be a while before I get to that one. So... Nancy wants me to check out all these little books and stuff. How to be a detective. Uh, in this game, you'll also have a cell phone with lots of features. Phone, camera, and settings. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Bring up the correct contact or dial in the number yourself and press call. Camera mode allows you to take and view photos. When in camera mode, you can zoom in and pan before taking the picture. Click on View Photos to see your saved photos. You'll be downloading photos later from the View Photos mode. And the Settings menu allows you to personalize the look of your phone by choosing one of the options in the drop-down. Okay, one thing I do remember is that I definitely didn't have smartphones in the original version. <laughs> I don't remember a ton from this game. Only bits and pieces here and there. So this is pretty much a blind playthrough for me. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or back arrow, and click. Alright, cool. That's simple enough. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm onto something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. To see how this works, move your mouse Nancy, over you the skipped over a whole bunch of stuff. Glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. That's okay, I'm a fast reader. I read all, I read all that. Uh, until the magnifying glass turns red. I'm not seeing any red here, Nancy. I see no red. Nancy, we're only two minutes into the game. You can't do this to me. Oh, there it is. Okay. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. When you click on an object with the hand cursor, that object gets added to your inventory. To see what's in your inventory, just click on the inventory icon at the bottom of the screen. To use an item that's in your inventory, just click on it. In fact, try clicking on the key. I'm not, I'm not going to go over the tutorial for every single game, just the first one. <laughs> Unless they add something new. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase, and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. 
To return an object to your inventory, just click on the inventory icon, then click on the open inventory box, and the object will go back into storage. You can close your inventory by clicking on the square in the upper right hand corner, by clicking on the inventory icon, or by clicking on another icon. I keep reminders to myself in my journal. Click on the notebook icon at the bottom left of the screen and you'll see what I mean. I try to keep my notes tidy by putting them into categories. Just click on a category and you'll see all the entries on that topic I've made up to that point in the game. Click on the clipboard icon and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. Observations. My desk is very neat and clean. And suspects. I suspect this section will soon fill up once I start my case. Gee, you're being you're being snarky already, Nancy. Thanks. Um, yep, okay, cool. The gear icon allows you to determine how you experience the game. Leave the game. For instance, just click on the exit icon. Okay, that all makes sense. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Wogglewoggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box with his words in yellow and my responses in blue. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll bar to move the text up and down so you can read along. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. You think so? Usually people only call me nosy when they're hiding something. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and hang on to your hat. All right, cool. Thanks, Nancy, for that very basic tutorial on everything. How do I put this away? No, I want to leave. I don't need this anymore, Nancy. Okay, there we go. Oh, this was for past cases, right? Okay, no, I don't need to look at these. These are games that we haven't played because we just started. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, which she said to look at the case file. Current assignment. A student named Jack Rogers was killed at a local high school last week. Yeah, the only thing I remember from this game is there's a high school and there's a diner. That's pretty much it. And that there's also, in the original version, there was some sort of glitch that my sister ran into every single time that caused the game to basically become unwinnable. Like, she could still walk around and talk to people, but she couldn't progress the story. And she ran into that glitch every single time she played, even when she was following a walkthrough, so she never finished it. <laughs> At least I don't think she did. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to, to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. So there's a murder in a high school. Okay, that's basic enough. We can work with that. Oh, and I, I am playing this in a windowed mode and the screen is... The, the window is very small, relatively. Because this is the only way I could record it. <laughs> For some reason I didn't want to record in full screen. Why is this shiny? What, what's this? Nancy, tell me. Okay, well, I guess I have it, so let's click on the tickets and get started. Um, I will be Junior Detective because this is the first game I've played in a very, very long time. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week and an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So, it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Right, cool. Um... Let's see. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember not to enter a wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. So we need the safe combination. Good to know. Anything cool about the clock? No? Can we open these? Ooh. Paseo del Mar University and the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority cordially invites you to attend the 25th annual Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority reunion. Saturday the 23rd, the Emerald Qu Crest Ballroom Pasco del Mar Country Club, Pasco del Mar, Florida. 
Round Robin Golf Tournament starts at 3.30, reception and dinner at 7 o'clock. Dessert and dancing immediately following. Okay, so that's a letter for Aunt Eloise, right? Here's a calculator. It actually will take me a bit of time to get used to the controls. I don't play point and clicks very often. Uh, can we look at those? No, we can't. Um, do we want to go over there? Ooh. Oh, cool. Okay, that's nice. We can't go through those doors for some reason. What's through here? Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man, and a well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you've found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Alright, cool. We gotta meet the detective at Maxine's diner. After we investigate everything. We have to be thorough. Reminders. Talk to Jake about library. Books out of order. Call Nancy to get flight number. Call Jackie about Spanish schools. Okay, so Eloise is the head librarian at the school. Well, that should be useful. We have an inn. In case we need some help with the library. Which we probably will. Um, anything cool around here? Ooh, books. Glasses. I wear glasses. Hidden clues are everywhere. The Haunted Ghost Bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end. And even others have felt a cold, tingling sensation throughout the, their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings. But the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out here. All returned with their hair turned white. None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later. A year! At first the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specialing in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls, but the girls would only say one phrase. Follow the X to the spot below. Interesting. I have no idea if that's relevant, but it's interesting. Yeah, like I said, the only Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew game that I've played is the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. And I only played that because I really like wolves. <laughs> okay, we need to... We don't know the safe combination, do we? Yeah, there's a, there was a way we could go here. There's nothing behind these paintings, right? Okay. Well, that's very close to the wall. Hold on. Oh, there's the safe. Oh, that's how we get the combination, right? Do we have the notes? Observations... Nope, we, we don't have it in our little notebook. We have to actually go back and look. Okay. I don't know Greek symbols, so I'm just gonna say 6-0-K-S. Six, zero, K, S. Hey, there's a key. Ideas. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Can I just loot the entire safe? No, I guess we're not a criminal. We can't just steal everything. Oh, it's a sliding puzzle, really? Oh god, sliding puzzles, why? Mm, this might take a while. Oh, I think I got it. Yes. Oh, I hate sliding puzzles. School computer. Login name Eloise Drew. Password O Wise Elder. Good to know. Thank you. Hey. 
Wh why would you torture yourself to put important information in a box that can only be opened by solving a slide puzzle? Like, why would you do that? Do you just hate yourself that much? Uh, we need to go to the diner. It's open. That's good. They have good coffee and hamburgers. Not necessarily good hamburgers. Hamburgers, just hamburgers. Oh, hello. This is a person. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. My then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So... What can I do for you? Uh, tell me about the school. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. What happened? What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. Ooh. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Uh, do you have any idea, idea who might have done that? Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Am I the special detective? Um, who are your resources? Wow, you must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. Okay, did he have any enemies? Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure. Doesn't everyone? Are we done here? I should get back to oh, work. Nope. Nice meeting you, Nancy. See you later. Take care. I've got to say, it's nice to be playing a game that has voice acting again. <laughs> Ooh. Why are these letters in colors. Should I remember these? I feel like this is gonna be important. There's blue letters, there's purple letters, there's red letters, and there's green letters. I'm curious what the garbage disposal is. Well, we what does this mean, by the way? XER3? That's probably important. I just remember there's a bunch of random nonsense on the menus that's probably important in some way. Um, we're looking for our detective friend. I mean, Uncle Steve. Oh, no, I didn't want to leave. I just thought it was letting me do something with the window. Oh, there he is, over there. But we aren't done looking around yet. Oh, that's the same menu. Okay. Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh... uh for a long time! <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Okay, we need to look for something he might have written in. Goodbye. See you later. Alright, good to know. So we should probably head to the school, then. But I want to look around just a bit more first. Like, there are a few places here we could go. Oh, 
Oh, they're just gonna let me walk into the kitchen? Okay, then. Can I just grab this knife? For evidence? No, I can't do anything with that right now, I don't think. Work schedule. Jake worked here. Good to know. And there's some si sort of code down here that I don't understand, but it'll probably be important. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Yep, I, I agree with you, Nancy. They ripped off something. Whether it was on purpose or an accident, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anything else we can look at? Well, they got first aid kits. That's good. Ooh. Dear Daryl, I need to take off our... I need to break off our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very, very sorry, but something suddenly came up. Connie. So something's going on between Connie and Daryl, whoever they are. Oh, I stole a ladle. Okay. Good to know. I have a ladle now. Also a key. And case info. Okay, that's the same thing we looked at earlier. Speaking of which, Nancy, you got anything interesting for me? Um, I like how we put that. Okay, these are important. Okay, good. You, you wrote them down, because I can't remember them. Thank you, Nancy. You're very thorough. Get a large savings account. We want to look for his journal. He worked in the library. Oh, that was Daryl. Oh, we just met Daryl. Oh, wow. I'm so out of it. I'm sorry. I'm not good with names, which is not a great thing for this kind of game, but that's why I have Nancy here taking notes for me. So I guess we should talk to Daryl and see what's going on with him and Connie, maybe? Can I put the ladle back? Be a nice person? No, I can't. Okay. We're just going to be thieves, then. Because I'm pretty sure nobody told us we were allowed to take the... Allowed to take the, um, ladle. Is that cheesecake? I want some cheesecake. Alright, Daryl. What can I do for you? Do you know... yeah. Do you know why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Okay, so she dumped you for Jake, it sounds like. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Ooh, jukebox. <laughs> what does wordy snon mean? Oh, I guess that's what the quarters are for. I wonder if there's going to be some sort of code I have to punch in by hitting certain. Can I play these? Oh, I can. Oh boy, mini games already. Um... Oh, this is just like the Brick Break kind of game. Right? Okay, yeah. I'm only gonna play this once unless I have to come back here for story reasons. This last one is evil. Oh, there we go. Oh, it keeps going? Oh no. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna keep playing this. Yes, I wanna quit. Thank you. Please get me out of here. Oh that took my quarter! Aw. I didn't realize that took my quarter. I'm sad now. Okay, let's go to school. Uh, we can't look at that? Okay, that's fair. 
Found in 1967. Anything in the trash can? Nope. Anything interesting? Let's go this way first. Well, there's some stuff on the floor, but I think it's just trash. Some lockers that we can't look at. More lockers. What's over here? Um... The Wrong Girl, a Jacobian comedy, performances are Friday, Sunday at 8pm. Dr. Deception, a poetic drama written by the senior essay winners of Paseo High School. Student files under lock and key will show the lie of the doctor-to-be. Oh, there's another one of those code thingies. Interesting. Well, we found three of them so far. Oh, there's something on the ground here. Oh, that's just more trash, I guess. Can we go in here? Maintenance room? It's got a braille keypad. Okay. Well, I don't know braille and I don't know what the code is anyway, so... There's no point in that. Anyone in here? Oh, there is a person. I gotta look at all this junk first, though. Let's see... Anything interesting? Oh, here's some stuff. Friends and family are invited to come to the 5th annual picnic of the Paseo del Mar Junior High School Marching Band Meet. Meet in the parking lot at 9 in the morning. Picnic will take place December 8th at Walden Reservo Reservoir. Woodwinds and percussion should wear full dress whites except for hats. Brass recitals set for later. And there's another code thing. So obviously these are important. Also, that was a terribly formatted flyer pamphlet thing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's meet this person. Oh. Yeah, I got another quarter. Who are Hi, you? I'm Connie. Oh. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. What do you mean, out of control? Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. What happened? I think he was pushed down a flight of stairs or something. What makes you think he was pushed and didn't just fall? I heard his face was all messed up, like he was in a fight. He was always getting into fights. What kind of guy was Jake? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. I guess that comes with a territory of being a school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president. Holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Okay, so if you like him so much, if you hate Jake, then why'd you dump Daryl to go to Jake with Jake? Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. Did Jake make you break the date? You're asking way too many questions, Nancy. What business is it of yours? I guess we are being pretty nosy. I'll talk to you later. Adios. See ya. Ooh. These are real people. I like this person. limits for you. Okay, that, that's fair. Anything cool here? 
Anything in the trash can? How about the vending machine? I don't want to use my only quarter. What about this? Nope. Okay. I guess we'll just keep running around the school until we find something else. I really wish these people would stop dropping trash on the floor. I always think it's something I can pick up. Oh, there's another code. Seniors, all entries in our exhibit must be picked up at the library on Thursday. See Eloise Drew for more info. We'll seal my murderer's fate. The hidden video tape. Okay. That was very obviously written backwards. There's a hidden videotape somewhere, I think. Maybe that has to do with these codes? I don't know. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Cool. So what's been going on? So what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. I heard about that. Some kid named Jake? Oh yeah. Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician too. Just like his father. Um, automatically my first suspect is Daryl. For a variety of reasons. I'm not gonna assume anything just yet, but so far he's looking the most suspicious. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Alright. See ya! See you later, Nancy. Thanks, Hal. See you later. I like you already. Oh. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, so many quarters. I feel blessed. I guess we have to go back the other way now. Can't go through those doors, I don't think. No. All right, where's the code on this one? I can't read that. Oh. Will help my plight. The first letters up, down, left, right. That's important. Up, down, left, right? I don't know which letters they mean, though. Nancy, did you write that down? Oh, I just- I think I just got something. Right three, left three, left one, up two, right one, up two. Still got no idea what that means though. But that's my working theory. It's directions for something. Ooh, there's the locker. Are we allowed to look at this? I don't know if we know his combo. Yeah, 
I noticed that medallion too. I tried to click on it, but she wasn't clickable. Okay, I'm going to leave this alone for now because I don't think I know his combo. Still have to do that. That's done. Still have to do that. That's done. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Oh, there's a kanji on her thing? Okay, maybe she got it from Hal then. Haven't done that. Alright, so. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to the. Oh, that one's open. Can I. No? We're not that much of a snoop? Okay. That's fair. Hey, honor student of the month, Hal Tanaka. Good for you, man. Find them. Find the morning edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white. To who will do the time. Okay. So in the newspaper, it has the answer for a criminal. They didn't... They didn't say what crime exactly. So I don't know if they're talking about the murderer, or just like somebody who stole your lunch money, or... They have a lot of bulletin boards. I can't read that. Oh, I just realized how long I've been recording. I should look for a place to stop soon. But for now, I guess I'll keep going. Library. They want me to go to the library earlier, right? I think so. <laughs> Is that a Nancy Drew reference? Oh! Thank you. Um... Oh, that's fairly nice. That definitely looks like high school art, I'll say that much. My high school group of friends, we're the nerdy, computer nerd, artist type people. A lot of us like to draw even if we weren't very good at it. And a lot of us watched anime too, so you know how that goes. Great. Oh, this is the code for the freaking soda machine. Grape, grape, orange, cool will play the alarm in the school. Grape, grape, orange, cool. So I guess we need to go back to the soda machine and put that in. Uh, there's the library. Well, we need to go in there, right? Or did we need a key or something? Wait, do we have the key? Hold on. Is this the library key? Yeah. Cool. Um, I love libraries. I grew up going to libraries all the time. I have two overflowing bookshelves in my room. I don't quite know where I'm supposed to be going, though. I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh, 
Oh, we can probably check at the desk. There might be something interesting there. Magazines. Anything cool here? Any hidden clues? Sports today. The race to the finish line. The real home team advantage. Managing stress for competition. Making time for fitness and fun. Harmful effects of steroids on athletes. Uh, wow, I'm not going to read all this out loud. You can pause and read it yourself if you want to. Why is the music intense? Why is the music intense? I'm scared. This is not supposed to be a scary game. I mean, I know from... I know from watching my sister play from my the, the single game that I've played that Nancy can die. But this is still a game targeted towards young girls. It shouldn't have anything too bad in it. Oh, and the music suddenly changed again. Computers. Weren't we supposed to look for something? Um. Oh, the soda machine alarm. Yeah, we need to do that. Grape, grape, orange, cool, correct? Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, that's a login and password, but we don't need that right now. Can't check that off yet. Yeah, I know, we're still looking around. I just wanted to see if Okay, we need to research kanji, so. I know a few kanji myself, but I don't think I recognize the one that was on her medallion. I don't think we can look up anything here because I don't know what we need to look up. Um, why do you keep changing the music on me, game? You're scaring me. Oh, was that a book sticking out? Can I look over there? I guess not. Uh, let's see. Why is there an alarm going off? What is happening? Okay. Okay, so. I, I thought this earlier, but I didn't say it out loud. But I was wondering if these were elements. Like periodic table elements, like xenon and stuff. <sighs> Why? Why the music? Why is this happening? Am I not supposed to be in the library? Jake was here. Good to know. Stop giving me scary music, game. Are these music changes supposed to be happening, or is the game just a bit glitchy? Because I noticed the voice, the voices were a little glitchy. Like they'd finish the sentence and like a tiny little snippet of another sound would start to play. I mean, this is a fairly old game, and it has been remastered, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Okay, Nancy, was that looking around for clues enough? Still have to do that. Okay, well, we'll come back here later.
Oh man, I don't remember which direction we were going. Uh oh. I think this is the room with the soda machine, right? No, this is where Hal hangs out. Sorry. Where's a fire extinguisher if we need it? That's where the gym is. Okay, this is where we were before. Can I not go in the gym? Um, any more secret notes? Oh, why? Nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. A symbol of kanji. Or is that? Worn with great pride. Reflects big secrets that someone must hide. To keep up his... I can't read that one. Even if it... Hold on, I'm going to physically turn my laptop upside down to read this. To keep up his charade, even if it... meant cheating to make the grade he oh I'm reading this backwards he did what it took to make the grade even if it meant cheating to keep up his charade okay sorry that took me a while <laughs> so basically what that means is there's clues in the libraries And Connie has some secrets, and Tanaka might be a cheater, which is why he has such good grades. That's what I'm understanding so far. Can I get some water? Is this important? I'm sure there's something hi secret hidden in there, but I don't see it just yet. We'll come back to that later, I guess. Oh! Thank you! Okay, we can't go in there. That's the locker room, I guess. Good job, Nancy! Better tell Connie to come fix it! Who's Hulk? Oh, that's how we get Connie out of that room. I should have waited to set that off. That's going to be a very annoying sound. I'm sorry. Oh, hi. You were just standing there watching me this whole time. I can't hear you with the alarm going on. Yeah, sorry. We'll come back and talk later. Uh, well, let's go get Connie. And then she'll be out of the... that one room, and then we can try and get into the... other room? I have no idea where I am. I don't know the layout of this place yet. Okay, that's the entrance. Then Connie should be... Okay, the other way. Okay. Wait, no. This is not correct. Oh, he's, she's in here, yeah. Hey, Connie. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. 
Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. Sorry. Wait, I saw something down there. Thank you. Do I have any keys? I have a ladle. That's the library key. Okay, I don't think I have the keys to get in there. Unless she conveniently left them behind. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. I think you're the best student something student council president ever. I'm the best person I'm the last person you'd ever expect a, a letter from. You might be wondering why I'm even sending this, and I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallways we catch each other's eyes, and it seems like we both want to say something, but we just keep walking. You with your friends and me alone. There's so much I want to say to you. Every time I drive to or from school, it's like you're in the car with me and we have these amazing conversations. And I'm thinking, will this ever become true? Can you ever forgive me for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows this not safe and and stupid to do. Sometimes I just can't help keep it bottled up inside me and I want to scream it from the rooftops. Is this crazy? Am I? Uh, that, like I said, I'm playing this in windowed mode and that's very small text for me. <laughs> I can't make the window bigger. Okay, well, I guess we're done here for now. I guess we can go back and try and talk to Jock Boy, who I'm guessing is named Hulk. We're just finding quarters all over the place now. Do they just... do they respawn? Oh hey, um, can I talk to you? Is there anything else? Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers Locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. I mean, I don't blame you. That's a very weird question for someone to ask. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies, and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Okay, well, I guess we'll see you in the library later. And now we need to go to... the gym. Is everything okay now? Okay, she fixed the soda machine. That's good. Hey! Whoa! A new girl at school! Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. Who are the Manatees? Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little sea cow. Of course not. I know what to do if I come across a manatee. Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Alright. How's it going? I know you just said we can't talk, but I'm gonna talk to you anyway. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends. Is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends. And Hal, he may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. 
What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here for now, because we've been going for almost an hour, I think. But, yeah, we got... I know there wasn't a lot of action in this episode, but we got introduced to a lot of characters. And we have a couple suspects already. Like, I'm suspicious of Daryl for several reasons. Yeah, Daryl found Jake's body. Daryl got dumped by Connie. But then again, Connie doesn't like Jake very much either. And then Hal apparently has a bad temper. Yes. Yeah, so, honestly, everyone's a suspect at this point. Everybody except Detective Uncle Steve, whose name I don't actually remember. So yeah, I can't really rule anything out just yet. I'm going to try and keep my mind open. Keep an open mind. Oh! Oh, okay. I think Ned Nickerson is Nancy's boyfriend. If I remember right. Hold on. Let me um let me call him. We can end the we can end it with that. Yeah. Hello? Is this Martha Windeglassen? Who is please calling me? Um no. I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned, I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? How can I get into the teacher's lounge? Aunt Eloise must have a key. Look for it in her house. I gotta go. Bye, Nancy. Alright, cool. So, I guess next time we'll be heading back to Aunt Nancy's house. To try- not Aunt Nancy. Aunt Eloise's house to try and find that key, because we know how to get Connie out of the room so we can actually go into the lounge, but we just don't have the key for it yet. So I guess that's what we'll be doing next time. So, thanks for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!